So in this video, I'm going to show uh, some of the, the, the techniques that I use to, to show people how to play drums. Now these exercises are very versatile and they can be used to learn any style of music. These are basically coordination exercises and then uh, with like rhythmic figures against other figures. So there will be like a five over four, stuff like that. Really fun stuff. The basic and, and, and the, the first step that, that you start out with is just boom chick, boom chick. <laughs> snare drum here. Start with right, left, right, left. Think of eight notes. this going and basically the next step is to change the rhythm and you'll be able to see look on the screen uh, the, the way that this is written out I'm not gonna play the entire exercise I'm gonna play part of it though step is to superimpose rudiments over that. So let's try a paradiddle. This time I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, uh, some rim shots and uh, those are gonna be on the first note just the simplest way to do it. I actually broke the pattern right there at the end on accident, but that's uh, that, that's the basic idea. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of jam a little bit, taking these ideas because it doesn't have to only be paradiddles. Paradiddles is one that I actually haven't worked on for a while. <laughs> it's probably pretty obvious, but you can do double paradiddles. You can do paradiddle diddles. You can do fives. You can do like like there's one that I really like, which is right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left. Or you can go right, left, right, left, left. So.
<laughs> you can't only use these for, for that kind of stuff. That, that's kind of like a jazz solo kind of thing. If you want to play rock, you can, you can use these for other coordination exercises, you know, like. So as you can see, it's a very practical thing. And in lessons, that's one of the first things I usually teach a lot of people, coordination-wise. When it comes to playing time, a lot of the times for certain players, I'll try and ask them to play a little more simply. And then for other players, I'll try and add on more things. But I, I play a lot of jazz, and so the ride cymbal is one of the most, um, <clears throat> it's it's probably the most important thing when you're when you're playing playing jazz <laughs> in the time you know the bass drum is used way less sparingly a lot of good players use the bass drum sparingly the snare drum is very important um, but the the ride cymbal is where I like to focus a lot of my time and yeah if you just look at this is one of my most favorite ride cymbals I absolutely love this cymbal look at how many different sounds you can get out of it I added some other stuff on there. And then also, back to the other coordination thing, a lot of the rhythms that you end up playing, comping, whether you're playing rock and you're doing the grace notes around the two and four backbeat, or you're doing jazz and you're just, just trying to add a little something to the solo, a lot of those rhythms are the same rhythms again, you know, like, like triplets, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, and being able to seamlessly go from one to the other is very important. Uh, you know, an example of how to, how to apply that to this is... That was a group of five. Look. And you can also do that.
<laughs> yeah, you can see, I'm not always playing those fives. I'm using other things. But when you're really shedding, when you're really practicing, you want to like play those patterns over again, over and over again. But always try and stay musical because it's pretty rare in a music situation that you just end up playing the same exact thing a thousand times over and over again. So I like to always try and stay musical. But that's it for the video. Give us a call here if you're interested in lessons. And um, <clears throat> we, uh, we have lots of cool things. I'm going to have a copy of that exercise on the website so you can scope that one out. And uh, there's so many different things that you can do with it. <clears throat> so that's that. Thank you.